Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Disney. Today's topic of discussion is going to be Disney bounding. I'm not sure how many of you guys have actually heard of Disney bounding before, but it's becoming really popular and I figured we could talk about that today. So let's talk Disney. Before I begin the video, I just want to say that I am fighting a cold right now, so it might be a little rough. I'm going to do the best I can to try to get through this video without any interruptions. So the first question you might be having, especially if you've never heard of Disney bounding before, is what is Disney bounding? So Disney bounding is basically when you kind of root through your closet for any traditional trendy clothes you might have that might fit together to look like an outfit of a character. However, it doesn't have to be a character, it can be a ride or anything Disney, hence Disney bounding. So what you're going to want to do is just kind of go through your closet and maybe try to find any trendy pieces of clothing you might wear on a daily basis and just match them with matching color schemes and accessories that the character you're portraying might normally wear. So where to start? Yes, you definitely want to start in your closet, so maybe go on Google or Pinterest and search for some Disney bounding ideas. That way you can go in your closet and say, oh, okay, this skirt looks some like something Ariel might wear, or this looks like Snow White's dress, or just things like that. Because in reality, Disney bounding is supposed to be about, you know, just going in and getting things you already have, not really going out and buying things. However, I suck at that and I'm always out buying things for my next Disney bound. And that's not really an issue if you're going to places like Ross or Marshalls or a discounted place, but definitely if you're buying more expensive things, it can start to add up. So if you're going to thinking about doing that, that's not really what Disney Mounting is about. It's more about just finding things that you already own, but whatever works for you. So Disney Mounting really isn't about going full character. You would think more like Dapper Days for that, or maybe Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. You don't necessarily want to go out and buy a Cinderella costume from Party City and wear that. That's not really what Disney Bounding is. It's about being trendy in clothes that you can normally go out in. So if I'm in a Disney Bound, although I might get some looks, I should be able to go outside without too many people thinking, what's she doing? However, if you do go to the Disney parks, I know that when I dressed up as Ariel, people actually recognized that that's what I was supposed to be. So that's what you want. You want to be able to go to the park and people to say, Oh, hey, you kind of look like so-and-so today. As I stated before, you do not have to go as a character. There are people that go as rides. For example, I went as Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. That was really fun. I had a dark green romper with some black flowers and it just looked really cute and it really fit that theme. So if you want to do that, you could dress up as f food as well. I saw on Etsy the other day a bow for a hair bow for the Dole Whips. So you could dress in all yellow and have a Dole Whip clip and maybe some red things that look like, that could work for a straw, just things like that. So definitely don't think you're restricted to a character. You can do whatever you really want with that. The most important part about Disney Bounding is you want to have fun with it. If Disney Bounding isn't something you feel comfortable with, that's perfectly fine. But like I said, it should just be a bunch of color schemes and clothing you already have. So it's not the type of thing that you're going to get looks for. So nobody should be looking at you weird because you're wearing normal clothes you would any day. So you can Disney Bound to an extreme and really go all out for it, or you can just kind of throw on a shirt that might look like something Mickey would wear and then some bottoms, some black bottoms for his pants, maybe like hook on a few buttons here and there, things like that. So you don't have to go all out for it, definitely just make sure you're having fun with it because it is fun to pick out different characters. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the Disney bounding ideas that I am planning for my upcoming Disney trip. So the first one is an Ursula inspired Disney bound. I got this bow from Hot Topic. Hot Topic has a lot of Disney items, so I would definitely look there for things like bows. I don't know if it's focusing. So that's cute. And then I also got this necklace also from Hot Topic. It is her seashell where she traps Ariel's voice. I don't know if it's focusing. 
but definitely that's cute. And I haven't really gotten anything else for that Disney bounding outfit in particular, but I'm definitely going to get some more stuff, some deep blacks and purples and just stuff like that. My next Disney bound isn't complete either, however I'm going to go is Jane Porter. I still need a yellow top to go with these. These are high-waisted green shorts that I got from Forever 21 and I thought they were just perfect because they already have belt so I don't need to worry about accessorizing any more than I already have on here. My next Disney bound is going to be Cinderella. Once again, I already had this in my closet. It's just a cute little blue dress. And then I have a black choker, like the one she wears. And actually, I didn't even realize it. I was wearing that dress with this choker one day, and I looked in the mirror, and I was like, wow, I kind of look like Cinderella. So that's what kind of inspired that Disney bound. One more Disney bound that I have planned. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wear it because it's gonna be hot and I don't know how I feel about that but I have Little Mermaid leggings and then I have a shell top to go with it. I just got the shirt from Forever 21 and then I bought the shells online. I think they were like six dollars and I just ironed them on myself. So there you have it. That is the gist of Disney bounding. Definitely next time you go, try it. It is so much fun. And I'm not sure if they still give out Disney bounding pins anymore, but I know at a the time they gave out pins that said, I'm Disney bounding. So if you're recognized for Disney bounding, you might get one of those. That is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informational for you guys. And I hope you guys are inspired to create some Disney bounds of your own. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.